Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Shana over here, and we're talking about um, the Dodge Charger uh, coming up and some renderings from WB.Artist20. Uh, you can find them online. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it's a Twitter page. But this is his uh, renderings of what, if Dodge kept the Hemi, if Dodge did the wide body on the new Charger and how it would look. And uh, at that point, you know, definitely leave some comments down below. Is this what you, is this what you want? Or obviously the inline six turbo and its, uh, its power options. And then um, there's his artist's name right there. Um, obviously, that's the big debate. The big debate is the you know, are you interested in buying a inline or EV? Inline or EV? Um, I think they're going to get a big. And, and me personally, if you want them to put it, to keep a V8, bring out a new V8 for this car, Dodge, Stellantis, whatever, redevelop a new high-tech dual overhead cam, 5.7 or, five, you know, whatever. Just it, it doesn't even have to be a Hemi, but it is a popular name. But just more of like what Ford does. They just they do a modular 5.0 that just can handle... A lot of horsepower and it goes into a lot of applications and it's not even that bad on gas <laughs> so that's what I would say I would say that don't buy the car um, don't feed the machine let them know that this is what you want and, and literally post it everywhere you know uh, they're not gonna want to lose money on this car and if it goes south Oh well, you know, Dodge, they could, you know, Chrysler could have done a lot of things different, and I would say that's the blame on them. In my opinion, the blame on them is for, you know, letting things slide till they had to get to, you know, hooked up to Fiat. And then now it's like Fiat, you know, blah. <laughs> and now it's like, you know, now they merge with, you know, Peugeot. So it's, you know, in my opinion, I think, you know, GM and Ford. They sh in, in Dodge and Chrysler, they should just got all. To, they should just join forces a long time ago, in my opinion. That would have helped all of them out. Shared some platforms. You know, GM is sharing a transmission with Ford. Smart move. Co-developed. Let's be honest. Ford developed it. GM wanted it. <laughs> Very good ten-speed transmission. But still, Dodge is going the mutt route with a you know transmission from a. You know, a German transmission that goes to the BMW, which is not a bad transmission, but just to take the power of these high-powered cars, they have to rip it apart and rebuild it and make it stronger. And then they call it the torque flight after they rebuild the damn thing, and it's, you know. But I think it's also a really big. They're they're trying to go for a trade-off. They're trying to go for. We're going to lose those customers, but we're going to gain new ones, you know, with the EV and stuff like that. And right now, EVs are not doing that well. They're not they're not doing that all that hot. This EV this EV, you know, rage of uh, pushing them and everybody's going to buy one. And then uh, people are figuring out that it's it's not all cracked up to what, you know, what it is. And uh you know, I see it, you know the rise, and but I see it. I see it just a drop off of uh, the EVs. They're trying to push all these EVs, and it's just hey, we're not ready for that. We're just not ready for it. So, saying that, like, you know, some people are going to buy them. Yeah, sure. You know, put them on YouTube, but I think that they're going to lose. They're going to try to make up for the loss of the V8 guys, and they're going to go to Ford. They're, they're going to go buy a Corvette. They're going to go. They're going to go for the V8. They're going to go for the sound. They're going to go for the, the experience. And you're just not going to get that, even with the inline turbo in that car. You're just not going to get it. And it's not going to even be a Dodge at that point. Let's fit everything that's going to go into this Charger is Peugeot. So you're not driving a Dodge. The only thing Dodge about this car is probably the chassis uh, and or the the skin, I should say, the interior and stuff like that. that's that's the only thing that's really going to be Dodge in this car. So at that point, it's you know, you can't brag. You can't brag about American muscle. You can't brag that you're dot. You're American. Yeah, muscle. Yeah, it's just you know, 
and, and putting alter, you know, fake ass sounds in the car, you're, you're not fooling nobody. Yeah, so you're not you're not fooling anybody. So my overall opinion, I want some comments coming down here. Um, my overall opinion is, I like the car itself, and I think that there's no problem with it. The interior looks great. The car does look good. Um, maybe a possibly a four-door version of it for people that, you know, since they're only going to make this one model. Um, and I don't even mind if they have the inline six in there. I don't mind if they try the EV route, but without personally, without that V8, I'm going to add this. If the inline six is only rear wheel drive, that's a bummer. Like, if you're going to have an inline six turbo in this car, at least make it all-wheel drive. If it's not, forget it. Just, it's just, to me, it's why. You're, you know, now you just have, a, now you just have like, a Peugeot slash BMW. And then the inline turbos you can get from BMW. Yeah, like, the, tur the inline turbos for the BMWs, like, you can get all-wheel drive, like, the, the X4s or the X5s and the X6s and stuff like that. Like, at that price range... I would rather go get a BMW at that point because it's all you know. You can get one with all-wheel drive, it's turbo inline six, yada yada yada. Um, so that's that's where it fails. If it's just real-wheel drive and they're trying to make a muscle car inline six, like JDM slash European slash whatever, that's not a good recipe. Uh, again, I don't mind if that's an option, but without that V8, th that's the point. If it's real-wheel drive. With combustion engine in a charger, 440, a 429, or you know whatever, just do something, <laughs> do something, or you know just a nice clean modular type style, new tech, new engineering, no more push rod, you know old school stuff, uh, and that's it. So that's all I got for you guys. I didn't want to make this too long. It's all all, all I got for you guys today. Uh, you know, people got to start speaking up and 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 get voicing your opinions. And uh, do you, th you know, as far as what you want? I think we all know we want a V underneath this hood, uh, and we want uh, something new. You know, as far as uh, you know, just keep the muscle. We want the muscle cars. It's simple as that. We want the, We want what they were delivering. Besides their fees and everything else, we want what they're delivering. And now they're not delivering. <laughs> Well, we're going to see what happens. It's going to be a doozy. And I, ho I really hope they, they change their mind and they get a new engine going. And I really desperately think Dodge needs to do that. You know, get get that overhead cam, VVT, whatever you have to do. Do the magic that Ford does. Because that would be, uh, be one heck of a Hemi. Anyway, later guys.